Listen, I've spoken a lot about the dangers of pagan Christianity. Why do I often talk about the dangers of pagan Christianity? It is because most people simply can't see the dangers of this, well, this diabolic filth that counterfeits true biblical revelation. I want you to consider the following. When Christ walked the earth, he said, I sent you as sheep amongst wolves. So be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. He was referring to common people there. So he was not referring to demons. He was not referring to unclean spirits. Because he told his followers that he had given them power over the whole camp of the enemy. And that shall by no means harm them. So what do you get out of this? Christ has revealed something very important here. And that is that common people that remain in denial are far more likely to harm you than demons do. In fact, the demons depend upon their negative investment to be empowered. Christ said it's impossible that but that offenses will come. Christ didn't say that offenses would come only from evil spirits, even though evil spirits will work against you. Just look at your own life. If you have been harmed collectively and individually, who acted it out? Was it some um, some chief of some demonic principality that came up from the flames of hell and appeared before you? No, it was likely a commoner, someone you knew or someone close to you. And who enabled those people? The commoners did. They had their reasons and expect you to put up with their reasons, whatever those reasons are. Just open your eyes. Obey Christ. Common folks who persist in denial, which means almost all common people, are far more likely and willingly to harm you and defend, defend that will again, that will of theirs against you. When Christ came to the Nara, he cast out the thousands of devils. None of those demons even dared to negotiate with Christ to leave them alone. But those common people that invested in their negative will, they did. It were not those devils that roamed the earth that put Christ on the cross. It were common people that enabled their elites that did it. It were not just demons operating against believers throughout the ages. It were common people in cooperation with, with some pagans, not some, but actually, with some pagans with influence that persecuted believers throughout the ages. When it comes to atrocities, like what happened during World War II or what happened in Cambodia in the 1970s, or when it comes to collective atrocities and collective traumas, Yes, demons are involved. They feed off the next energy. The big rules of the world, they set things in motion. But it's the common people that act out that collective rage. They are the ones willing it. Know what you're dealing with. Therefore, I agree with Christ at all times. Be at peace.